So you may have noticed that we have these backpacks on us. They have these little things on them for water. You bite on them and suck. All of them have water bladders in them, so we can take our water with us wherever we go. Mine has a few extra things in it for survival gear and whatnot. And you may think, well, you know, the water's great, but do I really need to take all that survival gear with me? You might think, you know, I don't really need it because I'm just going out for a little while. Well, most people who get in trouble out in the wild didn't think that they were going to be out that long, thought they'd just go out real quick, come back, you know, they didn't really need to take a lot with them. Some little thing happens and you're not prepared for it and that little thing suddenly turns into a life and death situation. So if you have a little pack with you like this, it'll help you out. I really like this one. It's called Outdoor Products. The only time it's leaked on me is when I haven't put the lid on quite right or tight enough. See, first of all, it's got a two liter water bladder in it. So that's good for one day. If you're gonna be long, gone longer than that, you probably want more. The other thing you wanna consider is that you don't necessarily want one source of water or one container of water. Because if something happens to that one container, your all your water is contaminated or gone. Maybe an extra water bottle. Something so that if something happens to one, you've got another one. And of course, there's five of us, so we all have those. In case it rains, emergency poncho. In case you need to go potty, there's one or two things you can do to go potty without leaving a mess behind. You can either dig a hole, and I do have a shovel back at camp, but you can throw these in here and it's got chemicals and stuff in it to neutralize odors and, and whatnot and uh, allows you just to throw it away when you get back to the trash can. This is a emergency tent. You've probably seen this material used in emergency blankets, a nice reflective material. The challenge with emergency blankets is that if you wrap yourself up in them, you can actually create a situation where you sweat. And one of the last things you want late at night when you're out in the middle of nowhere where it gets cold at night you'll be wet by that night that wet makes you even colder you get into a really bad situation you don't want to be wasting water by sweating and you don't want to be wasting energy by freezing so a tent is actually a smarter way to go being reflective makes it easy to find so if you have to bunker down for a while good thing to have keep you out of the elements during the day provide you with shade, keep you warm at night. Now, like I said, you want a couple of sources of water. Well, if you're only bringing one thing of water with you, you can try one of these. These are, you know, supposed to allow you to drink really bad, like water and still have it be drinkable and not kill you. Sometimes things are called paracord that aren't really paracord. They just kind of look like paracord. The paracord is supposed to be strong enough to hold up a parachute. So be careful with that. I got this one because it serves multiple purposes. And in fact, everything in here can be used for multiple purposes. So this one has an eight pound fishing line in it. You can extract it from within the line if you need to fish for your food. It also is flammable. So you can use it as a fire starter. And of course you can use it for rope, which is useful for tying things together, tying up shade, tying together sticks if you need to create a lean-to or something like that. You can use it as a tourniquet, keep your clothes from falling off because they tore or your belt got lost or something like that. Lots of different uses you can have for that. A first aid kit. If you're only going to take one thing with you, be water. If you're going to take two things with you, take a first aid kit. So if you have a blister or something on your foot, that can make it hard to, to walk or even a small cut can make it hard to walk, can make it painful to walk. Band-Aid can help soothe that and keep it from rubbing and getting worse. You want to make sure you bandage those up so they don't get infected. Candles. Light. Flashlight's good to have with you at night if you're going out at night or even if you're not going out at night. But batteries only last so long. These are designed to last a long time. These are long burning emergency candles. They can help people searching for you at night. Can eat can spot you a lot easier, especially if you have something reflective to put it in front of to make it even easier to find you. You gotta have a way to start these. I have a little fire starter here. This one's kind of like a Zippo. Not a very good option, but there are better options out there. I'll try to link some of those up below. You can check these out. In fact, I'll link up all these below. 
down in the description. You can check them out, see what they're like. And I got this pin at a tech conference I was at. So you can, again, you can write things down, take a map, make a map or something, take notes on where you are, but you've also got a light, a little emergency light. I wouldn't use this in place of a flashlight. So this thing, like I said, it's not very good, but it's got a flint and steel in it. So even if the fluid runs out, the flint and steel is still there. The best thing though is to make sure you know how to use it. If you don't know how to use this stuff, you might as well not have it. Because if you can't start a fire or you don't know how to contain a fire properly, you can start a forest fire very easily. If you... Navigation. Most people have a dominant leg. If you think, well, I've got a good sense of direction, well, chances are you're gonna end up going in circles. So it's good to know landmarks that are close by, you know, write things down. That's why you need a pen or a pencil. You can check landmarks, you can check and see if you're going in circles. Just a simple compass, knowing that you're gonna be south of some city or southeast of some city, just having a good compass to kind of keep you going straight. Phones are great, the GPS, if, if their GPS works without cell phone service, I wouldn't rely on cell phone service if you're out in the middle of nowhere. Make sure you got a phone that works. I actually have it plugged in. Using it, right now. using it right now to keep my battery going while I'm recording this. This is a, to collect power through the light, but it only produces like a tenth of an amp. Not a lot of cell power here. Better than nothing, but not a lot. 8,000 milliamps, although by the time you charge your phone off of it, it's not gonna, it's gonna waste some of that energy. Probably 30% of the energy is gonna be wasted. So if you're taking this with you, make sure it's fully charged. There's better ones out there these days. This one's a couple years old that have a lot more power capacity and, and everything in them and more rugged than this. This one's fairly rugged, but it's not waterproof. There are some better ones out there now. Of course, the better you get, the more you're gonna pay for it. So again, try to pack light. Try to make sure the things you're taking with you have multiple purposes, like this one has a light. Right, so multiple purposes. Just the essentials, just some things that will help you to survive or to signal or to stay warm, stay cool, stay dry. Best thing you can take with you is this. Be smart. There's books and stuff out there on survival. Make sure you know what you're doing, know where you're going, have a plan, let people know where you are. That's the best way to stay safe. And remember, have fun out there. Why else would you go on an adventure other than to have fun? And I forgot what else I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now you're at a minute. I'm also out of water. Oh, no. I only see half your face. I only see your nose. There you go. Now I can see your face. Do I need to start over? Probably. You guys, you can't talk while we're recording. Can you guys stop throwing dirt? Stay on that side of the tree. Thanks, kids. Can't take them anywhere. Do you want to pause? Sorry. So this one has a um, I got a pencil. It's not sharp and I think it tip broke off. What do you call those things? Trinket? No. Blister. Blister? Yes, blister. What's a blister? A thing on your skin that is irritated. You're gonna take a blister? No. <laughs> but if you're not practiced with it, you don't know how to use it. You're probably going to be stuck. Ow! Really? Kiss his butt hurts again. So you're not walking through the yuckies. So easy to make right films there. with kids. Get me away. No!
There's an eight pound fishing line in it. Are you done? <laughs>